Hello everybody, welcome back to Screen Stars. I'm here today to bring you my review for the 2022 horror film, The Killing Tree. A film that is directed by uh, Riss Freak Waterfield and it stars Sarah Alexandra Marks, Sarah T. Cohen, May, May Kelly and Kelly Rian Sonson. Uh... Right, this is another one of those Scott Jeffrey mass-produced British-made horror films um, that essentially focuses on a killer Christmas tree. I'll leave you for a second to absorb that image and that thought. Yes, we have a killer Christmas tree. And the story revolves around a character called Faith, who one year previously had her parents brutally murdered by a serial killer. Now, this serial killer was given the death sentence, even though this is the UK, we don't have a death sentence, but we'll gloss over that. And um, he is then resurrected by his accomplice partner, wife, lover, I don't know what she was. <laughs> she raises him using some kind of spell, but rather than him coming back, as himself for some reason he comes back as a christmas tree <laughs> just saying that it gives you a bit of a giggle and he's not best pleased about this but he's still intent on taking revenge on this faith character who he blames for him getting executed even though he went around killing dozens of people but again we'll, we'll gloss over that so he goes on a murderous rampage across the english countryside until he somehow finds faith, even though I don't know how he finds faith, because he can't read a map. And I'm not kidding, there is a scene where you've got a Christmas tree trying to read a map. Um, but he does somehow stumble across faith and her party guests at Christmas and decides to, you know, kill everybody. <laughs> right, what are my thoughts on the killing tree? Why, right, okay. What, what do you expect me to say here, people? This is a murderous Christmas tree. Okay, um, the film itself. All right, let me try and be serious for a minute. If you know what Scott Jeffrey movies are all about, you, you're probably going to be on board with this and understand what you're getting. Okay, this is not highbrow entertainment, people. Um, but... I think why I I like this more than the usual Scott Jeffrey production is this film clearly does not take itself seriously. It can't take itself seriously. Now, the human characters in the piece are kind of taking it seriously. But every time that Christmas tree is on screen, you're almost crying with laughter. Um, because there are scenes when you... <laughs> There are scenes when you can clearly see it's a guy in a Christmas tree suit. Well, he doesn't even look like a Christmas tree at times. He looks like a goddamn bush at times. With these lights blinkering on him. And you can see this guy shuffling <laughs> along the, 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 the scenes. Because you clearly can't walk very well. And there's other scenes where you can see like these dark under gloves with these fingers coming out and doing this, that or the other. And at times like that, I think this film is just at its best because it's they're almost like filming it and thinking, "Oh, sod it, we'll leave that in. It won't matter. It's a killer Christmas tree. Who cares?" And then there's other scenes where there's like they've attempted to put some CGI in it, so they've almost given this tree tentacles like Doc Ock from the Spider-Man movies, you know, so it can murder people by using these tentacles. So you've got scenes with it shuffling across because <laughs> it can't walk. You can't barely get upstairs, which is a. I mean, I was I was dying at the scene, the scene where this Christmas tree is trying to get up some stairs, and clearly the guy in the suit is struggling to get up these stairs because you can almost see him going backwards a couple of times. Honestly, there were tears rolling down my face at that point. Um, so it balances itself out this film because yes, at times it takes itself seriously because you've got these, you know, gorgeous young women running around the place screaming. <laughs> You know, doing their best to be afraid of a killer Christmas tree. Um, and then you've got the scenes with this Christmas tree just going on this, these murderous rampages. And what really helps is this voice that this Christmas tree has got. It's, it's got this voice of this killer. 
And some of the things he comes out with, like, um, oh, some of the things he comes out with, things like, I'm going to have you. I'm going to enjoy this. Come here. He's giving it all this while he's chasing them and laughing and evil laugh and swinging um, Christmas lights around people's necks to throttle them. And how can you not enjoy that, people? How can you not enjoy that? Did you ever think you would see a film with a killer Christmas tree? It's um, it's a it's a thing to behold. D please, guys, if you go into this film expecting something serious, you really are going to hate it with an absolute passion. I'm not here to tell you that this film is good. It is not good. In fact, it's pretty garbage <laughs> at times. But this is the sort of thing I want from a B-movie. Something that is completely self-aware of what it is is complete garbage but still manages to put a smile on my face um, and the complete ridiculousness of this film is what swings me towards it in regards to quality terrible in regards to entertainment value i have to give this one a five out of ten that's not for quality i'm not saying that this film is quality in any way but if you want to see a murderous Christmas tree, and I promise you, you'll be crying with laughter watching it at times, you, you've got to check this one out, guys. It's 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 something completely and utterly original, um, and I enjoyed it just for that. Um, so, yeah, check out The Killing Tree if you want a right good laugh, people. Um, it's like, I think it was the Scott Jeffrey film that they made last year called The Mutation, which was like a mutated rat or something that was similar like to this in regards of it was absolute garbage but i loved it because it was so stupid and this is very similar it's garbage but i love it because it's so stupid um so yeah that's my review for the killing tree guys i hope you enjoyed it thanks for watching i will of course be back with more content on the channel very very soon